Well, I don't know what to say. I haven't been in here in a long time. Uh, this is our 17th news video despite the what has it been about two months at least. The two month hole between our last news video and our this one. So it's number 17 of the school year. Uh, a lot to say, but not many sports. Basketball season ended two months ago. Uh, at the end of January, uh, ended uh, with the boys getting fifth place of eight teams in <clears throat> the St. Mary's of Temple tournament, or you could say they got first in the losers bracket after losing on game one to Brenham, 39 to 17, I believe was the score. So, but not enough about basketball. We're past that track. We've even passed track. The two meets. They were scheduled three, but one was rained out. So, track is over. So, now it's time for off-season football. Football players practicing. Eighth, gra eighth graders and other kids who are confirmed that they won't play football next year will just be on the side. But that's just for the boys. I don't know what the girls are doing. So... In other news, in other school news, uh, we started with today, uh, 2009, in the National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony was today. Uh, and the uh, current members were including myself, Haley Heffelfinger, Mason Leha, and Emily Thornton from the 7th grade and from the 8th grade, Deanne Meyer, the president, and Daryl Hosher, the vice president of the society. And the inductees... Today were Barrett Niemeyer of the 7th grade and Sam Culp and Monica Newman of the 6th grade. Congratulations to those three. I hope they do good for in the NJHS. Uh, so, that's, uh, that's that. Uh, also, we have a dance next Friday, April 17th at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Last year, I believe it was 7 to 10, but I guess people don't know. I don't I guess teachers think we have bedtimes on the weekends, which is retarded. Uh, so 6 to 9, the tickets went up $3, so I think it was a $3 increase. It's $5 this year anyway. You can buy tickets in advance. It's either the, tomorrow or next Thursday. So remember to dance April 17th. And next Tuesday, uh, when we get back from our four-day weekend, remember Good Friday tomorrow, not tomorrow, the Friday, and then a bad weather day on Monday, after we get back from the four-day weekend, we start our Relay for Life. Uh, we, come, we will be... What's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, we will be taking part in Relay for Life, a cancer foundation. All the money is donated to cancer research and patients who have had cancer or have cancer currently at the moment. Uh, uh, Westway has been taking part of it. This will be the third year. And last two have all been won by what will be the 2010 class of West Fayette, which is 7th grade as of right now. 7th uh, grade looking for the 3 P. remember. Uh, all this is for a good cause, so donate, donate, donate. And uh, what else is there? Spring break is passed. I mean, so it just, okay, as of today, 31 days left of the school year. 31 school days left. Not um, how many days until end of school, which is May 22nd, by the way. For anybody who's wondering, we get out of school on Friday, May 22nd, early release, of course, at 11.30, award ceremony. Um, estimated will be around 10 o'clock. Uh, then pick up your uh, parents. Parents pick you up after the award ceremony, take you home for the summer. Uh, when we start month three, uh, for three months, so that'll be good. 31 more school days left, remember that. Be 30 after tomorrow, after next week it will be 26. And then, also tomorrow is the end of fifth, six weeks. Um, so, final, uh, six and final six weeks is exactly 30 days starting Tuesday. And, well, I don't know what to say now, but I'm happy that finally school is coming to an end. So, yeah.
And I don't really know what much to say now. Um, uh, I guess we can discuss BS in next year since there's no sports left in this school year. All it is is off-season training for next year's sports. Uh, like basketball next year. It's going to be difficult with the Varsity Boys since I'll be making the transition to the Varsity Boys team. Uh, we, uh, the team that's playing afterwards uh, a game practices during practices during halftime. So at the junior varsity games, I or not just I, but the whole varsity squad will be uh, playing or not playing, practicing at halftime, shooting around, and so on. The girls' games are pretty much guaranteed. All of them, varsity girls and junior varsity girls. But uh, junior varsity boys, hopefully can get those in, squeeze those in. I'll try to do my best to get my, most of those coverage games. If not, we're also hiring for camera work and commentators for next year's varsity boys and junior varsity boys. Varsity boys, I will, I cannot do that as absolutely positively cannot do that. Uh, volleyball games for the girls, I for both squads, junior varsity varsity. Guaranteeing some home games, uh, not all games, maybe uh, home games, but not road games. But that's just now. I can probably range it where I can go to road games. And then football, we will be recording every game of the season, which is good. We only recorded one last year, so we need to step up on that. And track, cross country, those are always difficult because they... Games, or not games, meets, uh, cross country meets and track meets, always, they, we always leave school before the end of the school day, so it's hard for me to arrange a time for me to go, since I do not compete in track or cross country. Uh, that's pretty much going to be it for our 17th news video. I will probably be trying to post these weekly from now on for the rest of the school year. We don't have any other uh, things to uh, record. Also, some advertisements. Uh, RSN, Random Studio Network, another uh, YouTube account we have created is youtube.com slash random studio network. You type that in. That's exactly how it sounds. Uh, if, you, uh, if you were someone like, I don't know, think of someone who's dumb. If you are dumb, then you, I guess you aren't expected to find your way to a random studio network, but if you're not dumb, youtube.com slash random studio network, we have had some technical difficulties because we have not been able to upload videos because my phone, here it is right here, my phone has not been working right, or it has been working right, but it has been saying user barred when I try to send videos to the YouTube account, or the YouTube email address, which I am supposed to be sending them to, to create create videos or post them online. And we also have Maggie's Specialty Shop, uh, my mom's and Andrew Rutherford's mom's. Uh, they're all sister-in-laws, three managers, they're all sister-in-laws, Donna, Sarah, Antis, and then Deborah Rutherford. Uh, we sell a lot of stuff there, clothes, resell, jewelry, body jewelry, makeup, um, novelty items, sunglasses, all that other cool stuff. And I can't Go over there. It's 133 Winter Street, Marlin, Texas. 1254-803-5184. I will post it below on the screen, right there, I guess, somewhere. The number if I sped through it too fast. Marlin, Texas. It's in Marlin. Also, even though we're not recording any more games for this school year, we are establishing a new YouTube account soon called BS and Riesel, which will cover little girls' softball games. So. Woohoo! So if you're a softball fan and you're a fan of team scoring 20 runs a game, well, BS and Riesel is here for you. The link will probably be youtube.com slash BS and Riesel. The link is not active right now, so don't do it. So don't be dumb and don't be putting that up in the URL right now. I will update when it is available. And that will be it. That is officially it for our 17th news video. I cannot believe I got this far without stammering, so I'm Matthew Anta saying have a good day.